Back in Tucson, January 8th, victims and gun control advocates are taking their fight right to the doorstep of an Arizona lawmaker. Not in your sides, Craig Smith joins us live at Senator Jeff Flake's Tucson office, where dozens of people are hoping to be heard. Well, guys, Senator Flake is actually in Washington, so he did not meet with any of the demonstrators who were here earlier today. But he knows background checks are critical to both sides of the gun law debate. And he is in for special attention because in just a few days, he will be a key vote on a Senate committee. And that vote will decide whether stiffer background checks will get a vote in the full Senate. And he pulled the gun up like this and pointed it at me. January 8th, when Jared Lee Loeffner stopped to reload, Colonel Bill Badger was able to help get the gun out of Loeffner's hands. Now he's part of a collection of groups working to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill like Loeffner. Senator Jeff Flake is a key vote on a Senate committee considering tougher background checks. So the activist brought his Tucson office letters urging tighter controls. What do you say to the people on the other side of this argument who say, look, we're concerned that some of our rights will be infringed? My feeling is the safety and the well-being of all of us, all the citizens of the U.S., take priority over individuals having rights to purchase guns without background checks. Gary Riley says as an ex-police officer, gun violence drives him right up the wall. I've seen how little or no regulation on firearms is just plain stupid. Um, I carried a gun, like I said, for three decades, pretty much. And uh, if you're going to carry a gun, you have to have the proper mindset. It's not a piece of jewelry. It's not a add-on to your manhood. Ken Rainier is with Gun Owners of Arizona. The argument is that it's way too easy for people who are impaired or dangerous in some fashion to get hold of a weapon. Is there a better way to keep that from happening? Well, I think what we need to do is tighten up the mental health record situation. Now, Ken Rainier goes on to say that Congress set requirements to connect mental health records to that gun purchase database to the existing background check system, but did not set aside more than a fraction of the money required to get those records in effectively. Now, Senator Flake's office says he is not in favor of universal checks, but is in favor of better tying mental health records to the existing gun control background check system. Guy. Craig, why does Rainier object to broader checks in general? Well, he says they're simply too cumbersome to be practical. He says, for instance, if he, as a grandfather, wanted to transfer all or part of his gun collection to his grandchildren, he would have to do that by channeling that transfer through a federally licensed gun dealer who is able to tap into that system and actually run the background checks. Craig, thank you so much.